Wix Studio drop-down menu tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to create a drop-down menu and also how to edit it. The first thing you want to do is go onto your editor page. Then you're going to tap on the current menu that you have. So you're going to select the current menu and you're going to tap on manage menu. After doing that, you can see the pages that I currently have on my menu and I'm going to be adding some more pages. So I'll tap on add item. Then from there, you can select main pages and you can see all the pages that I currently have on my website. So I'm going to be adding all the pages and you could tap on show more page and you could see the different pages right there if you have more pages on your website. And you could select all of the pages by tapping on all pages, then tap on apply. So you can see all of the pages right there. Then let's say for example, I want the test page to be a drop down option or a sub page of the home page. All you'll need to do is pull it into position. Then you're going to simply slightly pull it to the right and it has now become a sub page for the home page. Then you could do the same. Let's say I would like the subscribe page to be a sub page for the privacy policy. I can slightly pull it to the right also. And I'm also going to make the accessibility statement a sub page also. So I'm going to also pull it to the right. So you can see right there, the accessibility statement is a sub page of the subscribe page. So that's how you would be able to create a sub page for a sub page. Once you're finished doing that, you can see right there, if I were to tap on the X now, and let's say we were to select preview in the top right hand corner. Once you hover over home, you can see the test page. Once you hover over privacy policy, you can see subscribe. Then you can see the sub page for subscribe. You can see it right there. If you would like to further edit it, you can go back to edit site. Then from there, you could tap on manage menu. After selecting manage menu from here, if you would like to edit it in any way, you could tap on the three dots, for example, and you could rename it. So I could tap on rename and you could rename it right there. You could also remove it from the menu if you want. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.